What's up? It's Jason Flood and this is Real Talk. Today I have a very special guest. He is the only journalist on Irish radio to have interviewed five former boxing heavyweight champions. In Clare you may know him for his time at RCB Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Conlon. Jim, how are you? Grant, how are you Grant. getting on? L long time no see. Long time no see, yeah. Like, uh, like many of my guests, we work together in the park studio. Yeah, yeah. But you're in Clare a lot. But what brings you here to Dublin? Uh, I suppose Jason's mom down doing a radio course uh, with Steve FM. I suppose I well, I like that sort of chat, talk show, sort of roof. So the opportunities below and Clare are, aren't really available to that music sort of genre. So I've a year left with uh, Clare minor footballers, and after that, then I'm looking for postures and new challenges. And now you're in Clare, but you're doing a lot of podcasting outside of RCB Radio, where you've had ridiculous guests, like just crazy. And um, tell me about these guests in terms of boxing. Yeah, I suppose in terms of boxing, I suppose I've had uh, Evander Holyfield, uh, Roy Jones Jr., uh, Larry Holmes, uh, Shane Mosley, um, uh, Ricky Hatton, Wayne McCullough. Does Evander Holyfield? Like, did you I know mention? That the lads mentioned the lot Does Evander Holyfield? Like, did you mention uh, the year? Yeah, I did. He spoke a bit about Mike, and he spoke about the friendship that he has now with Mike Tyson, and. Uh, I suppose uh, Evander was fairly honest and straight to the point and what struck me was the hunger and the background story as many of those athletes they all come from poor sort of humble uh, backgrounds and then they have to sort of, uh, it's a story from rags to riches of us. But like, oh yeah, it's just craziness like um, him and Mike Tyson, they do a lot of tours together and they make a lot of money together. Was there any, did he sound in any way, was there a bit of a bad taste? In no, the there was no or? bad taste, they talk about the friendship, as I said it was only business, yeah, and business in the ring and promotion and uh, uh, Mike at the time I suppose that uh, frustration got the better of him and he acted out an impulse and uh, many people do things in impulse and uh, they regret it later on in life and Mike sort of is a born again Christian and he regrets some of his actions and uh, himself and Evander came close through the years. Have you ever looked in terms of MMA, like trying to interview anyone? I've, I've interviewed uh, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell? Uh, uh, I didn't even know Chuck that. Liddell. So, uh, yeah, it, he spoke uh, again around his backstory and his passion for the craft and uh, the opportunities Dana White uh, has given him through the years and uh, his hatred to Tito Ortiz. Which and he's fighting Tito Ortiz. Come yeah, on. yeah, he, they don't like each other, that's for sure. Did you get Tito Ortiz on? Uh, it's all, I have reached out, I reached out to Randy Couture, um, I reached out to uh, George St. Pierre as well. So we're waiting, we're waiting on those sorts of chapters. But each week you start to put out every different bites and different leads and yeah. whatever the fish, uh, whatever you reel in, then you go with it as the same was. But you didn't, you didn't only reel in fish from the boxing world, you also went to Hollywood. You got names like Charlie Sheen, David Arquette recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about Charlie Sheen, is he as crazy as people make him? I suppose uh, Charlie, um, he is a, a down to earth sort of a guy. He likes to have the fun. He likes to have the crack. Oh, he likes but, the uh, rage, yeah. He likes. Uh, he also likes his sports. He's massive into his baseball. Uh, loves his basketball. Plays uh, regularly. And he spoke about his uh, history with Ireland and his adventures uh, of trying to come here in Ireland in the near future again. He spoke about travelling around Ireland as a nine year old child with his father and uh, backpacking and seeing all the sights and the attractions and. What strikes me about Charlie um, is that uh, he just wants uh, normality uh, in his life in, relations, in relation to the press and stuff like that. And uh, once, you feel, once he feels you're not a threat to him, he'll open up and he, he, he'll be the Charlie Sheen that we know. So, like, you've interviewed these big names. Is there any name in particular that you'd like to interview? Anyone that stands out that, like the biggest fish you could possibly catch? Well, I suppose, in many ways I achieved it, I suppose. Uh, my uh, my grown up always was Tracy McGrady, Team Mac, uh, who's a basketball player for Houston Rockets. Um, I suppose I'm a massive basketball fan, grew up an NBA, back, NBA sort of uh, background trained coach and T-Mac was always one, one of those people that I aspired to and I suppose it took me over 15 months to get it. Uh, constant back try with NBC, Turner Sports, uh, agents, past players and uh, luckily one day a publicist um, 
part of my backstory and uh, tra tra Tracy sent on a few photos of stuff. I was in Hollywood where I had T Mac jerseys from Orlando and sorts of stuff like that. And uh, T Mac reached out to me and it was a go, as the saying goes. So, for the people watching this, uh, where can we find these interviews? I suppose you can find them on iTunes, uh, the Scope Podcast. Uh, you can also find it on my Mixcloud, Mixcloud account, uh, Jim Conlon on Mixcloud. Uh, you can also find it, uh, I suppose, uh, I do an awful lot of, if you look at my Facebook as well. Uh, well why is your social media? Why is your Facebook? Uh, Facebook is Jim Conlon and I suppose um, social media, Mixcloud, if you're on Mixcloud, check out, or Soundcloud, uh, check out Jim Conlon and most importantly iTunes, the, the Scope Podcast, if you get all of those, yes. Right, sweet Jim is. Great for having me, man. No I haven't seen you in so long. Like I just, I look forward to hearing these interesting stories about these celebrities. Uh, I suppose, Jason. I suppose one thing I will tell people is just concentrate on your education uh, growing up. And uh, for me, it's been a long road. Six, seven years of college. Um, when I was doing the leaving sort, uh, so I didn't pay much study to my books. It was football, football, girls, discos, that sort of scenario. And. Um, I suppose I didn't get the points I wanted for a rigid course, I found myself repeating my leaving search. All my friends gone to college, doing a year, sort of, um, sort of things didn't go my way, a break and stuff like that. And uh, put, the, put my head down, knuckled in my books, went to college and got my head together. Well, of course, there you have it. So not only did you get an education about media, but you got an education about life straight from Jim Commons. So guys, thanks for having us. Uh, tune in next time where we have interviews of other big names in the media industry. Until then, goodbye.